What's up guys? We got an April 2018 edition of Motown Mail being recorded on May 19th or 20th because we've had a couple takes last weekend. This is our second take today. Uh, it's not going real well. Uh, Minimo is eight. Um, eight. Uh, he is two years, eight months old of this. Um, and here's his hair. Uh, he doesn't want to sit in my lap anymore. So this is what you get. You just, the, you just get this part up. So that's him. The rest of him is down there as well. Um, but here's what I got in the month of April 2018. Uh, this is a nice autograph card of Sammy Sosa, number to 54. Surprisingly, as a Cubs fan, I did not have a single certified autograph of Salmon Slingin' Sammy Sosa. Uh, he's a vampire now, uh, but he used to play baseball for the Cubs. Uh, and White Sox, and Rangers, and I can't remember who else. Um, so I got that. Uh, I won this in a Raz from, I think, Wenzel 8888 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Rookie auto from certified cuts of Alvin Kamara with a really small two color patch he never wore, but that's one of the nicer Kamara autographs since I think he holds his pen at an odd angle. So his autographs are usually pretty streaky. That one's pretty solid though, so pretty happy with that rookie auto of Alvin Kamara. Next, I didn't have a certified autograph yet of Vin Sanity. Uh, this is a uh, pretty cool looking card. I wanted him in his Raptors uniform dunking the ball, and I got just that. Um, not a huge, huge, huge fan of the design, but. It's number 10 of 100, uh, Vince Carter. Minimo, you want to stand up? And show the eight people watching my video still? Come here. Show up. Show up. Come here. You can show what you want to show. This is what I deal with. You want to, you want to stand on your knees and then show? Because that would probably work. That'd be good, good. Good. There you go. There you go. Nope. Um, so, we got this on-card autograph of Otto Graham. Uh, it's a shame what his stuff sells for. Uh, he's no longer with us. Died a while ago. Doesn't have a whole lot of certified stuff out there. One of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, especially of his era. Um, Otto Graham. Uh, next, I got this on-card autograph from Revolution of Dominique Wilkins. I got that just super cheap. I think that came from a, a seller in China. I'm not sure how they made any money off that one. But just a beautiful looking card. It's a super crappy day outside, so there's really no sunshine. So this card would normally show up a lot better. Uh, he had free additional shipping, so I got this for a dollar. Karis LeVert, uh, on-card rookie auto. It's with the Brooklyn Nets. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take down this Desitin tub that I used to hold it up. And then we have a little bit more mini mo. We can't see me anymore. There we go. He got his eyes now and his nose. So he's there. There he is. <laughs> you just can't see the red. It looks like i am got the biggest forehead ever now, which I do. Um, but anyway, the rest of this cuff has come from C over the course of probably six or seven months. So I was contemplating not doing these cards in this video, but since the video is going so well, I guess we'll just continue. Uh, we have an on-card autograph of future Hall of Famer Ray Allen, Revolution. Not numbered, but just beautiful looking cards there. It's very sparkly and shiny and... All kinds of stuff going on there with glare too. So, got that. Uh, same, same uh, product, different year. First ever autograph of Damian Lillard. Current beast for the Portland Trailblazers. I love that card. He's got the, the Rip City jersey on. So, pretty cool looking card there. Got non-numbered, but just nice looking cards from Revolution. Haven't had a Goldie pickup in a while. I picked up this. Uh, Topps Chrome Autograph 2014, it's got the 1989 uh, Topps design, sticker auto, but still it's a pretty decent design where the sticker looks like it belongs there, so they, instead of them just slapping on number to 25, Goldschmidt. Uh, next, Dan Makita, on-card autograph from Panini Playbook, um, number 3 of 50, I think I mentioned before he has dementia, doesn't know who he is, cannot sign his name anymore, so you won't be seeing any additional Stan Makita autographs out there anymore. I always liked his autograph too, kind of different looking. Blackhawks Hall of Famer, numbered again, number three of 50. Uh, I bought this at the beginning of the season, and I, and I think it's probably worth about literally 10 times more than what Daddy, I paid. Yeah. Outside. You want you want to go outside in the rain? That sounds like fun. Um, I got this 2015 uh, Panini Elite Extra Edition autograph of current NL Rookie of the Year candidate uh, front runner Ozzy Albies, or in this card Osheño Albies. So that's pretty nice. I uh, did not have a certified autograph yet of Steve Smith, uh, the good one. Uh, 2005 Lee Certified Materials. Really nice looking card here. Very happy with this. Mirror, mirror signatures, uh, number 19 of 100. I just love that card. Some sticker autograph had that like, hollow foil, and they just they had a nice design to them. 
instead of just that ugly clear sticker they use nowadays. Uh, next, Jose Quintana, who literally has, I think, one certified autograph out there, and it's in 2014 Gypsy Queen. This is the gold one. I already had the regular one, but being a Cubs fan, I want another Quintana. This is a uh, number to just 25 somewhere on here. Yeah, 3 of 25. Jose Quintana had a really good, yes, uh, really good game yesterday. Uh, this is a cool card. I'm not sure uh, what he's a champion of. Uh, he's in the Giants organization. He's got a lot of power. Really cool card. Not a huge fan of Leaf just because they're not uh, licensed, so they got to airbrush up all the logos. This is number 10 of 10, but just a beautiful looking card there. Chris Shaw at the Boston College, I believe. Yeah, Boston College. Uh, next, the Fridge, William Perry, on a card autograph from Upper Deck Legends. You guys literally have like just a little bit of Minnie Mouse hair there. You want to be in the video? Minnie Mouse, you want to be in the video? You do? Then come up. All right, whatever. Uh, next, real high on this kid, even though he's had a couple, couple of struggles lately. Um, <laughs> ah! Look, who's that? Who is that? And now I have to put the desk tub back up like this and do that. Now you can see both of us. So there he is. He's right there. He's Cranky Mo again. Um, from Tom's Gold Label, Rookie Auto, Gold Frame, Luke Weaver. And now he's back down. So there's that. I wish this thing told me how much minutes I have left. You sometimes it tells me, sometimes it doesn't. Today it's not telling me. It's just in one of those moods, just like my son. Uh, next, cool autograph here. Got it super cheap. Wanted this exact image. Um, so he's dabbing, but he's actually just covering his eyes for the slam dunk competition. Number 199 of D. Brown. Next, got D.D. Westbrook, uh, rookie auto from Phoenix. Uh, one, two, three, color patch you never wore. Number to just 25, D.D. Westbrook. Figured he may have a larger role now that Allen Robinson is with my hometown Chicago Bears. Uh, next, uh, Chris Dunn, who was really, really did well last year with his first season with the Bulls. This is an on-card autograph from National Treasures, number 249. He was uh, not the main piece in the uh, Jimmy Butler trade. Actually, he may have been the third. He might have just been in the throw-in because they got Zach Levine and uh, the number seven overall pick, which ended up being uh, Larry Markkinen. So, but he had an unbelievable season with the Bulls last year. Uh, next, I got a Darius Slay autograph from Crown Royal, number to 25, Rookie Auto. Good defensive player for the Detroit Lions. Can you show that one off? That was next. Right here. Can you show it right here? Can you show it right here? Next, we have a Jarrett Allen, who's with the Brooklyn Nets. There's that card. That's way over there. You can't see. Right here, buddy. Minimo. This is not going well. Uh, it's, it's going better than the first take, though, so that's, that's something we're improving. Uh, next, um, rookie signatures from National Treasures, Antonio Cromarty. I think he has, like, 18 children or something. That's the fun fact about Antonio Cromarty. Next, Rick Monday, who saved the American flag from protesters back in the 70s. This is a cool card from Hometown Heroes. Not a uh, licensed card, but still a cool card with the flag there in the background. Sticker auto, but super cheap. Next, bad boy, uh, Bill Lambeer. I'm not sure why I'm even, you know, it's not even in the image anymore, so there he is. Here I am. Just go down here. Uh, really cool looking card from Port Kings on card auto. Next on card autograph from some product, Intrigue, numbered um, to 99, Reggie Theus. He was on uh, Hang Time, the show, the NBC show on Saturday mornings when I was a kid. So. Reggie Theus, that's my Reggie Theus memory. Next, Doug Collins, one of the best coaches of all time, in my opinion. He's with actually the Bulls now as a special advisor or something. And Minimo has taken out cards out of top loaders, and that's a no-no, at least for now. Um, here, play with this one. This one's protected. Whoop. Doug Collins, iron card no, autograph. You don't want that one. He doesn't want that one. National Treasures, on card auto, Doug Collins. Here's the card that was almost destroyed by Minimo, Jarrett Allen, rookie auto from Absolute Memorabilia, number to Buck 99. Julius Randle, uh, on-card autograph from Revolution. Really came on last year with the Lakers. Fellow NIU alum, Kenny Gulladay, uh, 
uh, from Elite with the NIU Huskies logo and uni uniform there. They're all straight uniform, which is a really cool looking card. Uh, next, I got Kobayashi, the hot dog eater. He likes to shove a lot of hot dogs in his mouth at one time. Eddie Olchek, former Blackhawk and current Blackhawk uh, announcer. He's actually battling cancer right now and he's actually a very good uh, horse racing analyst, which is kind of odd. It's quite a pairing. Um, we got this one right here, Kevin Mayaton, who's really fallen off the map. He was the um, he was the Braves prospect that they had to give up for their uh, uh, their uh, were cheating somehow in the international signing something. So they ended up having to give up Kevin Mayaton, and he ended up being becoming a free agent. He's now with the Angels. I uh, got an on card autograph of Orlando Cepeda, Baby Bull, number to twenty five from Tribute. Michael Cooper, number to 299 from Gold Label, or Gold Standard. JoJo White, no longer with us, really nice looking card here. On card autograph from Intrigue, number to 299. That's a really nice looking card, first JoJo White cert. Mark Aguirre, former DePaul Demon Deacon, uh, or I'm sorry, Blue Demon, not Wake Forest, um, DePaul. From Preferred, on card autograph, Round Ball Auto. Cedric Sabalos, number to 299. I got that for like less than a dollar, I think. Bo Kimball, um, who along with Hank Gathers uh, formed quite a tandem at Loyola um, back in the late, late 80s. Didn't have a Bo Kimball. Alden Smith, rookie auto from Crown Royal. Jarvis Landry, uh, Jarvis, Jarvis Landry on cartograph from Press Pass, game day number to 99. I didn't know if he was going to be with the Bears, so I wanted one of his search just in case. Uh, Eugenio Suarez, on card autograph from Prism. Hate hate that that product, but Eugenio Suarez, not a whole lot of certs out there. Decent player, had a better year last year though. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore from something certified, number to fifty, rookie auto, really good defensive player for the Saints. Taiwan Taylor, whose autograph really resembles mine, which is the main reason I bought this autograph. He's got the I guarantee he holds the pen at the exact same angle I do when I'm signing my name, so. It, Someone were to sign somewhere to how I do. That's that's it's definitely Taiwan Taylor. Uh, Jake Smolinski, um, who uh, is with the Oakland Athletics now, this is number two hundred. My dad and his dad actually worked together back in the day for several years. They're good friends, and my dad knew Jake when he was a kid, and now he's a major league baseball player. So got that cheap. And lastly, last card. Minimo, you want to come back over here so we can we can say our goodbye. Um, next. Uh, Upper Deck Premier, Rookie Auto, this is a pretty cool card from the Colorado Buffaloes, number to 80. Spencer Dinwiddie, who is pretty much a castaway from several teams and really found a home in Brooklyn and really did well this year. So that's it. Come here. So I don't have to do the whole video over again. Come here. We'll actually put this up because it's taking him six minutes to come over here. Come here, buddy. You want to say stay safe? Come on. Yeah, you got to do it on the camera. Come here. I know, right? You stay safe now! I'm not yelling at you. This is going great. Hey. I wasn't yelling at you, buddy. I was yelling at everybody else. <laughs> I don't want to do another one. Can you just stay, stay safe? Say, everybody, stay safe. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And as always, please, stay safe. Can you say it? Can you say stay safe before daddy runs out of battery? Yes. Stay safe, jerks.